what is going on welcome back to the channel kit family so recently we got our car lowered on megan racing lowering springs true heart sports shocks and you know i'm in love with the look of the car the only drawback is the fitment itself you know these these wheels tuck in way too much so on this video guys we're using a 17 millimeter wheel spacer we're gonna prop it on the front and on the back and we'll see what a 17 millimeter spacer does for the offset for the look of this vehicle so make sure you stay tuned and keep watching for the entire video all right guys we're back at the home base just getting ready to lift this thing up now i'm not a numbers guy but for those of you people that are number people i'm going to try to give you a rough estimate right here from the top of the tire looking right around this way depending which way you look at it we got about an inch and a half of space right here from the tire to the outside fender now again now you won't be able to get the tire to the fender because there is a fender liner right here and a tab so as long as we can get it out a little bit that will be beneficial it will help improve the setup but it's not always the best idea to get wheel spacers guys and i'm going to discuss a little bit of that on this video but i'm going to put a link in the description of a full 20 minute video i put out there talking about the different types of wheel spacers such as these bolt-on ones and then the other ones with extended studs what i prefer and whatnot so i won't get into it that much in this video i'll just show you guys what 17 mils can do now right in the back let's take a quick peek i'd say we, we're just about the same an inch and a half of clearance available so 17 mils right here on this ebay spacer now this was a hub centric ring spacer here we got the hub centric ring out so it's fine we can still rock it we're not going to drive it obviously like this without the hub centric rings and you need hub centric rings for all aftermarket wheels that have a bigger bore and you need them if you're running wheel spacers if you don't know what i'm talking about check out my playlist and i have a lot of fitment videos i'll tell you everything you need to know to get yourself fitted with nicer wheels so right now let's take this wheel off we'll put in the wheel spacer and go from there all right time for the installation process is as simple as bolting it onto your factory studs taking the supplied nuts putting them on your factory lug nuts just give you a little information here i am not a fan of wheel spacers like this you know not all wheel spacers are bad but i've ran these and i didn't have good results with them granted they are ebay wheel spacers i'm sure the more reputable brands may work a little bit better but this style of wheel spacers i'm just not a fan of if i ever run wheel spacers they are going to be just the spacer itself and we're going to replace the factory studs with extended studs and that will cause less issues down the road so now i'm actually looking on ebay for wheel spacers because i was thinking we might be able to throw some wheel spacers on this for the front not for the rear and i'll tell you in a second why that reason is once we get to the back but for the front you know we can definitely throw spacers on i think i found 15 mil spacers the ones with extended studs on ebay now those don't have to probably be as good of a quality as these type of spacers because these type of spacers if they go bad i mean look just imagine imagine this coming off your hub coming off with the wheel and there's nothing attaching your wheel to the knuckle i mean it's just this spacer right here so all glory falls on the wheel spacer and like if you can see this wheel spacer here it actually cracked when i got it only a few hundred miles there's a crack alongside the whole wheel spacer and you know what that really changed my mind on these type of wheel spacers i am not a fan of them whatsoever All right, for demonstration purposes, this is perfectly fine. Again, if you were really running it on the vehicle, you want the hub-centric ring adapter. Now you can see your factory hub is way smaller than this circle here. And therefore, your wheel won't sit perfectly circled on this wheel spacer. So you guys gotta make sure when you buy these dang things, 
make sure they're hub centric spacers anyway as you can see those factory studs they're still sticking out now in our situation that won't be a problem and it won't be a problem because these wheels you see they have these slots that are engraved in the wheel themselves if you had a wheel without these slots where they were just flat surfaces you would have to grind those studs off the factory studs at least half an inch in order to clear get the wheel on there so in our situation we're lucky these wheels are meant to adapt wheel spacers so we're just going to toss the wheel right on here and let's check out the clearances Here comes the moment of truth. All right, and there she sits, guys. She's poking a little bit more. What do you guys think? Does it look better? Well, of course it does look a little better. And actually, even with the 17 mil spacer, there's plenty of room here with the whole um, underneath weather stripping there it won't be a problem i don't believe it will now the only thing is like i always said the further you stick out your wheels and tires i feel like the ride gap increases a little bit when the car was tucking tire a little bit more the front end looked lower now that we brought the tire out you can actually see more gap i don't know if it's just an illusion but it seems like that to me now let's check out how much more space we got we definitely lowered it by at least half an inch here it seems like judging from this ghetto mathematics okay overall I'm, it looks pretty good i mean i gotta lie i mean it's not it's not poking to the it's not poking to the point where it's like sticking out and it's like maxi flush it, it's semi flush here you know it, and it looks semi aggressive i like the beefy tires and whatnot and Wheel spacers on the front will look good. So if I was to get the 15 mil spacers, they would look fairly good. And I think it will be a good combination overall for the front of the vehicle. Because for the front of the vehicle, when you're driving, you can't really see those tires. Okay, and that's, that's the secret why I won't get the back ones replaced with wheel spacers. You see, when you put a wheel spacer on the back of the tire, you see that tire from the back when you're driving in the vehicle. And now, I don't wanna space this little seven inch wide tire as far out as I can, because then when you're driving from the back, if someone's seeing this car, it looks like a little girl, like this. You, you get what I'm saying? It's gonna be like maxi flush. It's not gonna be good. If it was a wider wheel, that wouldn't be a problem because we would be using the full wheel well for a tire, but just taking a small tire, pushing it out, maxing it out to the, outside edge is not gonna look guys trust me on that so maybe for the front we can buy those ebay wheel spacers 15 mil but for the rear it's not my cup of tea but we'll still go we'll throw them on in the back if it is your cup of tea guys which is fine if it is but i'm just telling you my experience it won't look good we'll throw it in the back for you guys interested in seeing and running spacers in the back all right before i take that wheel spacer off here's the before here's the fitment all right. And here's the after. What do you guys think? All right, guys, and we got the rear wheel spacer in. Same process, pretty much. Let's put the wheel on. Let's check the fitment. All right, and here's the before of the rear. This is the driver's side. And here we have the 17 mil spacer. It's pretty aggressive for the rear, I must say. It's not gonna rub because with the rear, how it works, once there's compression on the spring and shock, the wheel actually cambers in, so I doubt there's going to be any rubbing issues and you got the right height still a two finger gap right here 
So I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you guys think? The front's tucking again now. Yeah, the, the the rear right here, that's that's pretty aggressive. That 17 mil is kind of sticking out way too much. I mean, it's flush, but I don't know, man. And look at the look at the bag. I, it's going to be hard to probably tell for you guys. Let me see if I can adjust it. Oh, if you guys want to see some action, sign up on my other page where we have a lot of rated R content. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Like, the wheel is just poking way too far out. And it looks very, very skinny from the back of the car. It looks like you just skipped leg day, if you ask my personal opinion. So it's a tough call for the rear, you know. It's, it's, it's a hit or miss. It looks decent from the side profile and whatnot. You know, it's pretty flush. You're losing a lot of room from the inner wheel well right here. Where... You can have a lot of tire, you know, this is not, I mean, the, the only reason you would do this is really for looks, for that more flush look. But other than that, it's not really going to benefit you too much. So on that note, guys, comment down below. What do you guys think? If we do end up getting wheel spacers, like I said, I'll probably rock a wheel spacer just for the front with a 15 mil. That's what's available on eBay. Of course, we're going to go with the cheap route. It's still a T6106. One, I don't know what the aluminum grade was, but it's all good materials according to the to the marketing they're putting out there. It's the same material that all these high-end companies are going. IBEC or H&R spacers is pretty much the same thing. So again, like I said, you actually see the drop more. Side profiles, they look good. Other profiles, they might be based on the consumer. Some people may like it, some people may not like it. But at the end of the day, like I said, if you're choosing a wheel spacer, just make sure it has a hub-centric ring that will fit on your factory hub. That way, there's no noises. Once you go past 50, 60 miles an hour, there's no wheel vibrations. Everything will make sense. And you know what? Wheel spacers are safe for the most part. Um, you know, I've ran some wheel spacers on this. I mean, those are the ones we just tested it. Those, I'm not sure how safe they are or if I got a bad batch, but I've had a buddy that ran H&R spacers on his G35 for some time and he drove that thing pretty aggressively and it was okay. And my brother Bullet's garage is rocking, I believe, H&R wheel spacers as well with extended studs and again those are the safest route because the wheel is actually attached to your hub so highly recommend those wheel spacers if you go the real spacers route obviously the best thing to do from the get-go is get your wheels fitted properly but you know that's not always the case sometimes not everybody has an opportunity to get different wheels but still wheel spacers can give you that little edge that you're looking for that's going to improve the handling and improve the look of the car well anyway guys this is a long video i'm ranting way too much let me know what do you guys think let me know if you guys ran ebay wheel spacers before maybe we can get a sponsorship if ebay is watching the video we'll rock the spacers all around if they throw in a sponsorship for that but we'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more content peace I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, get from California Trying to make it in life, a school that never taught ya Dreams of my own, I've been working from home I can do it on my own, but sometimes it gets